Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we are doing the monthly Oracle card guidance, um, which I'm going to be uh, uploading at the beginning of every month. And this is for November 2022. And before us, I have the Sacred Rebels Oracle by Alana Fairchild, the Australian Wildflower Reading Cards by Sherilyn Darcy, and Soulful Woman Cards um, by... Shushan Mavisian and Gemma Summers. All right, so go ahead, make a selection between one, two, and three, and I'm going to go ahead and begin the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the first option here, these are the Sacred Rebel uh, cards by Lana Fairchild. Be asking, what does the month of November hold for us? What does the month of November hold for us? So we have a few cards here and um, it's very much uh, in touch with the um, with the energy as it is right now, actually. So I'm quite surprised to see the order of these cards and how they come about. But to read them out, the first one is new birth or guarded, new birth guarded vigilantly. And that is the number 24. The second card is trust yourself, which is number 31. The fourth is going against the grain, okay? And the 14th, uh, the, sorry, the, the third card is four, number four uh, against the grain. And the, no, the fourth card is the number 14 going beyond normal. Now, what I hear here and what I see here is that uh, what, what's going to happen in November and might have begun already in October for you is that there's a new beginning for you. You've turned a corner. There's a new beginning. There has been this Venus star which has signaled new beginnings in October and you've probably tapped into some of that energy as well as some of the other energy uh, with regard to the eclipses, etc., which has um, eclipsed away uh, uh, some part of your life but as a result left you with a new beginning. And if you want to hear a bit more about that and the details of that, you can listen to my last video where I talked uh, in depth about the eclipses and what they mean for us in terms of uh, ourselves and society, as well as for the next uh, months. OK, as well as I've also talked about the upcoming eclipse in in that video. So we have here this new birth. So there's new part of you that's coming into the world. Now, you might have not changed anything at all in your life. Or you might have changed. Maybe you've moved. Maybe you've uh, just you had a baby. Maybe you've just gotten a new job or ended a job. Or perhaps somebody has passed away in your family and it's you have to restructure your life as a result. Uh, those are quite extreme examples, but that has been happening to people. And... Um, uh, but you might have not been as extreme in your life. You might have experienced this new birth in just in terms of a certain consciousness shift in yourself or just as in terms of a realization that you might have had or a buildup of different uh, things that have led you to a particular realization. And you might not even be able to coin that. You might not even be able to articulate it so well, but you know that something in you has shifted and it might have brought, have brought on some kind of inspiration or it might bring on some kind of... Um, um, forward movement, like a jolt of forward movement. But with that, you might also feel sometimes a little bit depressed or some, or some kind of uncertainty or instability even that you might be experiencing that might actually have, um, yeah, be in your energy. It might be in your energy. So this is what that card is. So I, I see it's like this new birth, but it's guarded vigilantly. So there is something new happening in your life. There is a like a turning around a corner. But the question is, how are you going to look after that? And I feel that I feel that it's a lot to do with looking after yourself emotionally and mentally, uh, man managing yourself, managing your, your body and mind and spirit so that there's not an emphasis on one only. You know, if you're somebody who's quite chatty and doing a lot of business and d business deals, etc., you're going to be chatting a lot. Well, you got to balance that with doing something with the body. 
and something with the spirit. So, you know, perhaps doing some exercise or doing some cycling or some, uh, you know, doing some running, whatever, whatever you choose to do, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever speaks to you, obviously. So uh, I feel like that is what this card is about here. It's about this new turning around this corner, coming to a realization about something in November, at the beginning of November, and then finding that uh, you're going to um, be needing to look after that because it's not just here to stay. You know, it's not like you suddenly find all this inspiration and feels all wonderful and then it just stays with you. Um, or this love that you have, this new love that you have that and it just stays with you. You have to look after that. You have to look, you have to care for it. You have to tend to it. You have to look after your garden, you know, not plant weeds in it, but rather plant good thoughts in it and you know, just think about how you tend to your garden of the mind, your thoughts, etc. So I feel like that is very much what the first energy of November is bringing us uh, for you, those of you chosen the option number one. Now, the second card here is trust yourself. So you might find that you have a lot of different energies coming at you. You might find that some of this inspiration or uh, this kind of uh, newness, maybe it's not even an inspiration, maybe it's just a newness or a kind of um, rebirth or, or some kind of um, like a fresh feeling. There's this refreshing refreshment you know um that not a refreshment as in a beverage but um <laughs> it's like this refreshing feeling that's come into your life well you might find that it brings you into a lot of different directions and you might be thinking a lot about certain things but there will be something underneath all of that that you truly believe in and you truly want for yourself and the question I want to ask you is are you going to be able to follow through with that or even if you don't think it's possible are you going to be able to say okay this is where I want to go to this is what I want to do and am I going to allow myself to do that so I feel like this trust yourself card is very much about that. It's very much about all these different influences that have given birth to something and making you feel fantastic on some level, but you have to trust yourself and know if, am I, am I speaking, am I listening to a voice in my head that is guiding me or am I listening to a voice in my head that's actually sabotaging me and, and working against me or is, am I just telling myself something? Am I just telling myself a particular narrative in order to believe in one particular thing and to keep myself in a, in a comfort zone or in a, you know, maintain a status quo. And so, um, that is, um, that is the uh, the card here, the second week. And I think that this is where the eclipse comes in and the eclipse energy and you're going to be really at at um, odds with yourself as to, well, do, go out, do I go ahead and do this? Can I trust myself? Can I trust myself to make the right decisions for myself so that I can be responsible or I can do the right thing for me, okay? As well as for others uh, concerned and as well as for the world at large. So can I trust myself? And I think that's, going to be a big big question for a lot of you and I feel that if you do trust yourself if you are able to do that what's going to happen is then you're going to find that you're able to break through a particular barrier you know sometimes it's just about faith and sometimes it's just about uh, maintaining that faith or having that faith believing and you know in order to be able to break through a certain barrier and come out of a particular rut that you've been in or a particular bubble that you've been in so in the third week of the month or around the middle of the month towards the end, yeah, towards the, the middle of the month and the beginning of the second half of the month, there's this card that we have, which is the number four against the grain. And it might start earlier. It might like be around the at the eighth or the ninth that you decide to, to go ahead, go ahead with this, or it might be a bit later, like around the 14th or 15th, but uh, going against the grain here, is making a decision which you know is not necessarily going to gain the support of others. You might, they might receive their support, but they might be a little bit reluctant or a little bit apprehensive or a bit wary of your decisions. And what you're going to find is that you're going to need to say to yourself, well, I have to do this and I have to trust myself in the process. And it's part of my, my new beginnings that I need to create for myself. And I'm going to have to go out there. I'm going to just have to go out there and do what I have to do. And it might be something, you know, it might be something simple, like um, you're taking out your trash on a, 
oh, on the night before rather than on the day that it has to go out. Uh, but then the neighbors are going to be really all over you about that. Or at least you think the neighbor's going to be all over you about that. But it could be something simple like that. OK, that's really an arbitrary example. Or it could be something where, you know, you decide, OK, I'm going to travel um to some kind of war-torn country or something like this where, oh no, that is just a no-no. Or it could be something where you've decided you've got a great job and you're quite comfortable, you've got all the benefits and all of that. And then you decide, you know what, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to uh, resign and I'm going to begin my healing practice. I'm going to begin my tarot practice, whatever. But it's going against the grain. It's going against the, the flow of society and it's going to get some people talking or, or turn some heads at the very least. And this is the new year, having the courage to be able to do that, uh, regardless of what others impose upon you, regardless of what, the, what others imprint upon you, because that is not you. That's just a reflection of what their own thoughts are. Okay. And, um, and then we have at the end of the month, what I feel is something quite grand. I feel like there's this grand duo. You might, it might be that you travel to a place which makes you feel grand. It might be that you come into a church which is very old or uh, has some beautiful drawings or something like this. And there's a set, certain sense of being connected to a particular energy. It doesn't have to be in a church. It could be a canyon. It could be some kind of space where the energy is very old and you are coming in touch with it it with it okay the card is going beyond normal you know it's about being able to um balance the energy that you're receiving from the from beyond or the outside world and being be able to connect that and be able to maintain that connection as well as maintain your life connection and your livelihood as well as the relationship that you have with others and having to integrate all of those things and manage all of that and be open to that and not just shut down what the guidance and the wisdom that's coming from beyond the spirit world to you but being able to manage that information flow as well as maintain your life, okay? And I think, you know, there is a bulb here. I feel it is like a light bulb moment. There is something that kind of feels like, okay, you know, you've arrived on some level. I feel like there's still a lot more to do here, but I think towards the end of November, there's going to be a sense of um, doing something, what, along, you know, part of going against the grain meant go doing something that was quite out of, out there quite extraordinary in a way and it's almost left you with a saintly aura so I would say look out for that in information or that energy influence that you're going to receive towards the end of November which is going to leave you feeling in touch with the divinity that is you as well as make you feel very much in touch with perhaps a saint or a um, an archangel or some kind of divine energy which you resonate quite deeply with, all right? And I think that's going to be quite important for you. I also feel like um, it doesn't have to be something that you can define very easily. It doesn't have to be something that you understand fully in the conscious world or in the rational world, but rather it's just a, an experience that you, you're most likely going to have. I feel here that there's... Um, uh, an opportunity also to be able to do a particular ritual which will allow you to connect to um, energies from a few hundred years ago and uh, that's also going to be something that is uh, is was what is described by this this card here all right so i hope that has been helpful for those of you who've chosen the option number one and i wish you a fabulous november uh, may you have all the blessings and protection and everything that you need and um, blessings abound from Kismet Rising. And for those of you who've chosen the second option, we're using the Australian Wildflower Reading Cards um, by Cheryl and Darcy. And we are asking the question, what is your monthly oracle card guidance? So we're looking at the month of November and we're going to be asking, what is your monthly oracle card guidance?
Okay, so we have four cards here for those of you who've chosen the option number 11. And I'm just going to put this straight because, and if I, um, I don't really read uh, Oracle cards reversed. I usually get the meaning that is reversed that they want me to convey. So I'm just going to place it like this and see what is coming through. So the first card is Orange Banks here. And the card is called Enthusiasm. I feel like you start November off with quite a ba big bang. Like there's quite a lot of enthusiasm. And there's quite a lot of, there's a beginning of something new. There's a beginning of a, a fruit that could actually bear. Um, and you're wondering whether it's worth actually pursuing that. There's also a sense of there's a lot of activity around you. Uh, maybe not necessarily outside of you but a lot of activity maybe in your mind about wanting to do things about moving ahead there's a lot of mental activity here so i feel like there's there's a great deal of enthusiasm but it needs to be channeled and needs to be worked through in a particular way that the energy is not scattered and it actually can uh, there can be something that comes out of it and then we have the card number two which is persistence and i feel like that's what is needed really it's like this idea of being of maintaining something or being persistent with something so there might be an idea that you have you might decide to go in a particular direction and then you might be all fired up about that and then it kind of just fizzes away and so i think that in order to maintain your enthusiasm you need to be persistent with it and i feel like in, around the second week of november there's going to be a lot more ideas about how you can be more persistent or how it is that you can be maintain your or your routine or maintain your um your rhythm with regard to this thing that you are excited about or enthusiastic uh for and then i feel like there's this um as a sense of uh, calmness coming over you around the third week of november or in this time it's it's going to be it's going to work like that like you're going to have this burst of energy burst of enthusiasm and that might have started towards the end of october already and then you're going to have like this struggle to kind of be consistent about it and and do be persistent and be diligent and be you know maintain your stamina or your your motivation through it and then i think you're going to reach a point where you're just kind of feeling calm once again and quite rational and and there's going to be a sense of like an innocence kind of dawns over you and uh there's this it's this kind of like a renewal almost that takes place and i feel that this is going to be something that you will probably experience around the third week of november or at the beginning of the third week of november or heading into the third week of november so i would say say from about the 14th or 15th of november onward there's a sense of being of a calm coming over you you might have decided uh, at this time to kind of persist with an endeavor that you were working towards and then you have arrived at that thing that you've endeavored to arrive at and there's a calm that um settles over you because of that all right and that would be it would i see feel like you if you would do begin this there's this, all this excitement at the beginning of november but it's more like planning or looking at how you could go about doing it and then there's the persistence in order to be able to create and make it happen and then there's this calm that comes because you might you might have achieved it or you might have made it happen or it might be something that is uh, uh, just um it's just a sense that you you're not so um wired anymore or you're not so uh drawn in different directions or not necessarily different directions but you're not so pulled in a particular direction to to with this regard to this enthusiasm but there's a sense of you know you're not necessarily being blown with wind or swayed in a particular direction or bent in a particular direction but rather you're able to just maintain your yourself upright and be calm and understand who you are where you are and what is what is important to you and feel safe and secure and protected at the same time so i feel that uh, there's also that it for some of you in some regions especially if you're in the northern hemisphere it might start to begin to snow for you during that time and um there's a sense of calm that comes along because of that as well okay things just kind of settle at that moment and then um the the final card is violet nightshade and there's power so i feel like after this calm it's almost like you going through the motions in a way that is really not like zombie like but in a way that's really um like you super confident really calm really secure with yourself and you're going through a 
through mo motions to be able to get to a certain place or do something. And, you know, when I mean get to a certain place, I don't necessarily mean you're traveling somewhere. You might just be, you know, working on separating your herbs that you've harvested or something like that. And it's about getting through that and getting to a certain place. But anyhow, at the end of the month, what you're going to find is that you have a certain power that uh, this enthusiasm that you've had at the beginning of the month has converted into, it's converted into a power. And it's only because you have been able to maintain your 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 um, dedication to the project or whatever it is that you're busy with, whatever it is that it that you are thinking about, okay? And you, because you've been able to be calm with that. And as a result, you've converted into, into power, raw power. And I think that what's happening here is there's going to be a kind of raw power which, which others will look onto you and say, okay, well, that's been, you know, quite extraordinary what she's done or what he's done and and then you're going to find that you know you 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 looked on in that way like you've exhibiting power but I feel like on some level what you're going to feel within you is a sense of um, great strength and a, a sense of um, you know you know you might not necessarily feel this power even though you will have it uh, is what i'm trying to say but there is going to be you're going to know the the strength or the depth of the power that can be you're going to have access to the power that can be and the depth of that and you're going to be able to stand back and and respect that or or look at it in awe and it's not outside of you necessarily you know it, it's something that is inside of you that you are now in touch with you've been able to like draw the, the, the apart the curtains and you've seen what it is and it's not necessarily something that you share with other people it's something that it can be quite a um, um, a, re a re revelatory moment in your life I also feel that this card could um, refer to sexual relations or passion and it could also be something which results in um, in passion or, um, you know, some kind of um, a, a sensual pa uh, display of passion. And, uh, yeah, so it's going to be quite interesting. It's like almost like uh, the month starts on, on a particular high, but it almost appears like it's a superficial high or it's a, a juvenile high, so to call, uh, to call it like an immature kind of high, rather. And it ends with a high that's quite mature and quite um, in-depth and very deep. And it's uh, very deep, very scorpionic in its nature, in that it's it's got many different layers, may, many different layers, and many different attributes that can be uncovered. And it's just about uncovering it one thing at a time. And then in the middle of the month, it's just about a bit of hard work, a bit of getting things, getting your ducks in a row in order to be able to move ahead and experience this uh, sense of calm that comes with having gotten your ducks in a row with having achieved something which with having made something happen and all of these things can be applied to you on a very uh basic level or it can be applied to you in quite a large grandiose uh level it's up to you and what you're busy with in your life and how you uh want to um create your experience how do you want to live your life okay so this is what i see for the month of november i think it can be something that something good can come out of you uh, in terms of of maintaining this enthusiasm and being able to uh, redirect it and i feel that you are going to find that november has been a good month for you when you see when you stand at the end of it and you are going to feel that um, something deeper has come out of it for you all right, so I'm going to leave it there and I wish you a fabulous month of November 2022. May you have all that you need and be protected and maintain your health and blessings abound from Kismet Rising. And for those of you who've chosen the last deck, the third deck here for the month of November, we're asking what do we need to know or what can we expect for the month of November? And... We're using the Soulful Woman cards, which I actually love using, but I don't use it all that often. You might have, if you've been on the channel for a long time, you might have seen me use these this, these cards already. Anyhow, so we're asking, what can you expect? Or what can you look forward to in the month of November 2022?
right, so for those of you who've chosen the option number three and we're looking at November 2022, we have four cards here for the four weeks. And the first card we have is number 42, Dream Seeds. And the, the caption reads, I nurture my dream seeds with love and appreciation and allow them to unfold in their own time. Okay, so I feel like at the beginning of the month of November, what you are going to be doing is uh, what what I would uh, suggest that you do is put down all the dreams that you have and um and the sequence of how you'd like it to play out, and and just put it away and keep it, and rather uh, as in put it away like put it somewhere safe, and and keep it and keep the faith that that will occur and you don't have to really put into a lot of detail how it will occur but rather that it will occur and I feel that uh, for you the month of November the first week of November is very much about manifestation or beginning putting down the seeds of manifestation you know as it says the dream seeds being able to dream being able to to fantasize about what it is that you truly desire and how you wish to um to not necessarily live that existence, but how you wish to bring yourself to that space or how you imagine that you could bring yourself to that space. Now, that's not going to necessarily happen the way you expect it to. But I feel that if you do nurture those seeds at the beginning of November, it is a very good time for you to um, to do that in order to be able to see the fruit of that in the next year or so, or even later, um, or even later this year, or even later in the month, because it feels like there is a connection here between the beginning of the month and the later latter part of the month as well. So I think that, uh, I just want to read the caption again, it says, I nurture my dream seeds with love and appreciation and allow them to unfold in their own time. And I think that is such key, those words that I use are so key. So you're nurturing it with love and appreciation, okay? You're not nurturing it with anxiety and with uh, concern or with worry or with, um, you know, disbelief. You are nurturing it with love and appreciation and allowing it to unfold in their own time. So you're letting go of the any time restrictions that you've placed on what it is that you desire. And you've just put it out there that this is who I am. This is what I'd like and this is how I want to see my life unfold, okay? And I think that that is the focus for the first week of November. So if you are able to even spend five or ten minutes doing that uh, in this week, it's going to be very beneficial for you. Other than that, I feel like there might be quite a lot of dynamic energy around you uh, during the first week of November. It might be that you've got a lot of thoughts and you have a lot of um, creativity you might be it might be that you feel very connected to the universe and to the energy around you and that you are in touch with with everything in quite a in a level that feels like you've been accepted or taken into a fold okay and that's going to also be quite um, relevant in terms of your your week but I feel that in order to um, maintain your earthly connection so to say you have to be able to understand the direction in which you want to go and I think that's the most important thing determining the direction in which you want to go and therefore planting your seeds for that okay then as we come into the second week of November the card that we have is the number 12 it's creative cocooning and it says creative cocooning is a freedom I give myself I create a safe nest for peace, healing, and calm. All right. So I think that as you come into the second week and as we've uh, gone through that eclipse, that lunar eclipse on the 8th of November, which you can hear more about in the previous video I uploaded where I go into quite a lot of detail with that, um, you're going to find that the what you need to give to yourself is a lot of self-care and love. Okay. And I feel that you know, you might find yourself going and having your hair washed or going to a spa or going to get your nails done or even just going to have a massage or simply creating the conditions for that for you to do it at home. You know, perhaps lighting some candles, decorating your home um, and being able to to give yourself that care that you need. Perhaps just it's all about just sitting on a on a chair and uh, cuddling up with a with a book and a and a blanket um, if it's, um, you know, if it's cool, <laughs> but, um, it, 
so it's about just giving yourself what it is you desire and what it is that you need. For some of you, it might be that you are, you know, you need to go to the to take a walk at a, at a coastline or at a beach, uh, at, the, at a riverbank, or some to be at some body of water, which is going to allow you to be able to hear more clearly the messages that you need to have in order to to move ahead or to hear the guidance. You know, so you've planted the seeds here, and now you want to hear the guidance that's coming to you. And I feel like if you surround yourself or you go to a body of water you might be able to do that now you might also just be able to do that if you take a bowl and fill it with water and stare into it you know it's a you know a form of scrying so you could it feels like there is some kind of um self-care here that's uh, merging with uh, creativity and being able to connect to the divine as a result of it and um, it, it definitely feels like a much more earthly experience that you're having in the second week of November than on the first week of November where you might feel quite wired actually and quite kind of um, on a different planet in fact and, um, and then you're going to feel quite calm in um, in in the sec in the week um the week thereafter i feel like there's a need to create the calm as well and i might not just come naturally oh i'm just feeling blissful and calm and zen like but rather that uh it just kind of settled you have to make it happen for you and then it settles upon you so um and it's a choice that you're making it's a choice uh, active choice that you're making to give yourself this particular experience all right so i feel like like it has a lot to do with self-care. I might be, uh, that might not be resonant for everyone here, but um, I think for a lot of people, it's going to be about looking after yourself and finding out how you're looking after yourself. And it might just be taking a walk in a forest or maybe taking a walk, as I said, at a water body or being able to give yourself some self-care that you need, you know, maybe just body brushing or something like this. It's, it's actually quite a lot of self-care in that and um and so yeah i'm gonna leave it there i feel like there's still something back here but i might return to it just now um the um the third week around the third week of the month uh you know the second half as you begin the second half of the month it, we've got the number 30 and we've got the card path awareness and it says if i sincerely ask i'm always guided back to the right path for me and to my central purpose. And so I feel like here it's about gaining clarity as to your purpose, you know, and gaining some kind of um, redirection as far as that is concerned. Because with the energies that you've had in October and November, the beginning of November, what you might feel around the, as you begin the second half of November, is that you need some kind of crystallization of your path in order to be able to continue with the fervor that you need to continue with. And so I think that a prayer is required at this time. And it's required, I feel like planning is also required. So, you know, planning is a kind of prayer in a way, because what you're saying is, okay, I want like that to happen, like this to happen. And I'm going to, you know, take the actions in order to make it happen. And in that way, there is... There's a sense of being prepared for something that's happening here. That's what I think. The week three is having being prepared or preparing yourself for a direction that you're about to take. And I think it's also about, you know, if you're feeling a bit scattered, if you've gone off on a particular tangent with your life in the recent months, it's about coming back or asking to be to be guided back to where you need to be or to wherever you need to be. It doesn't necessarily mean coming back to something. Uh, even though it does say here, yeah, I'm always guided back to the right path for me. But, you know, sometimes your part, the right path for you can be quite a different path from the one that you've been in already. And so I feel like here there is a sense of being... Um, it's quite a powerful card, actually. And I feel that it's a very powerful energy compared to these two. Here, this is also quite powerful, but it's quite different and, and quite outer worldly. And this is quite worldly. And then here, it's like almost like the connection between the divine, the perfect connection between the divine and the, the earthly energies. It's like this perfect combination and melding of the two energies. And you being in the center of that with um, an altar to that almost. It's like this energy that just emanates from you as a result. And then we have at the last week of the month, we have the card number one. 
and the card is titled Love Based Reality. I'm I, I am soul nurtured when I surround myself with friends and family who support a love based reality. Okay, now I feel like at the end of November, you know, for Americans, you have your Thanksgiving and there's going to be, you know, it's time where we kind of start to wind down on some level um, as we begin to prepare for the month of December with festivities in that month as well, like Hanukkah, Christmas, etc. And I feel that um, what's going to be is uh, the need for you to just um, be with people where you feel love and with people where you feel the nurturing, the warmth, the generosity, the kindness, the compassion, the um, hospitality, hospitality, sorry. And I feel that you're going to find here that it's quite different. You know, this energy is all quite different in a way um, that you've been on a pathway here, which is quite um, like it's an you know, astral travel type of thing. And then you've been in a pathway here where you've been looking after yourself. And then you've been here where you've been able to find the clarity that you need, which has come out of these two experiences. And once you've gotten that, then you're ready to be able to share this with other people, not necessarily the information, but you can share the product of what you have become as a result of these experiences right here. And I feel that just maintaining that heart-based um uh, neutrality in a way is what's going to get you through the the last bit of November and December where the outside world might be presenting you with quite a lot of division and fear and uh, it's up to you to be able to return to your heart and return to your love based reality and I think that uh, the end of November is going to be calling for you to do that there's also a return to simplicity uh, here, I feel like this is going to take you to um, a part of yourself that ha you have not necessarily felt in a long time. So at the end of November, you might feel, oh, you know, I'm kind of giving up on all these other things. I'm not giving up necessarily, but I'm leaving those things behind. And I'm coming back to a part of myself which I felt, which feels familiar to me. And it might be that you feel a little bit like how you felt when you were much younger or you have something returned to you. It might be that somebody's taken something from you and you have it returned to you. And that could be something physical. It could be something which is just um, an emotional experience or feeling that you have about yourself, which has been locked away or hidden for a long time. And this does come out of the the prayer that you have here um, in, the, in the third week. All right, so it's an incredible month for you guys and I just want to come back to this card as I said I would there d does seem to be something brewing here I feel that when you are looking after yourself or you're doing your creative cocooning so to say you are still um, having some of the gems that you have um, gained from the first week in your mind and being able to nurture that as well but it's more subtly it's more subtly it's not so much it's not in the forefront of what's going on and there's a pureness that comes out of this as well. And there's a purity here as well. There's like this, there's this card here, which is like this innocence and purity. And it feels like that's what you've been praying for. And this is what you've, um, you've been developing in yourself. And this is what you've been guided to. All right. So it's, I think they are lovely cards and uh, I wish you a fabulous, oh, there's an ant that, or a fly that's crawling on this. Anyhow, um, I wish you a fabulous, um, um, month of November. May you have all that you desire and may you um, be very blessed in everything that you do. May you have health and well-being, protection and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.